Now, the Democrats' vaccine mandate power trip has now made it, of course, to our southern border, but not for the untold millions of migrants illegally entering the country, as I just said. Instead, the Biden administration is now poised to punish Customs and Border Patrol agents. Can't make this up. Republican Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan joins me now exclusively. Congressman, you were recently approached by a whistleblower yep. on this subject. What did you learn? Whistleblower told us that the Border Patrol was given official notice that if Border Patrol agents don't get the vaccine by November of this year, so six weeks from now, if they don't get the vaccine, they're going to be fired. Uh, fired. So meanwhile, today we had a briefing from Secretary Mayorkas, and we asked him about what's happening with these, this flood of migrants coming across the border, our southern border. And he said, relative to the vaccine, he said, we asked them if they want it. It's their choice. So think about that. The people who have been busting their tails, enforcing our law, doing their job on the border, they're going to get fired if they don't take the vaccine. Meanwhile, for people who break the law and come in here, no big deal. No, your choice. It's up to you. That is how ridiculous the Biden administration has become. These people who just a year ago, like doctors and nurses and, and police officers, were heroes. Now they're saying we're gonna, you're going to lose your job if you don't take a vaccine. The same vaccine, by the way, that Kamala Harris said she wouldn't take a year ago. This is ridiculous, and the American people know it's ridiculous. Yeah, so we're going to have, we, we have nursing shortages, police officers being yep. fired. They're bringing in foreign workers to take the jobs of Americans who don't, don't get the vaccine. Uh, yeah. Again, you keep saying, waking up saying, is this really the country that we were born in? Uh, it doesn't seem like well, it. Now, I just want to add this, Congressman, because even before this whistleblower news, Border Patrol we know was already suffering from these personnel shortages because in a June report yeah. from the National Treasury um, Employees Union, they said the agency's own workload staffing models show a shortage of 1,700 CBP yeah. officers and 400 other specialists and 200 uh, non-uniform trade specialists. So this vaccine yeah. mandate is going to hurt the hospitals they were supposed to save. It's going to make the border even less secure. Yep. No, exactly right. They were already <laughs> shorthanded. It's going to it's going to make the problem worse, as you say, across the board in, in, in hospitals and in police, police departments and on our southern border. The only conclusion relative to the border you can reach is this is intentional. This is deliberate. The Biden administration, we're not going to we're going to stop building the wall. We're going to stop the remain in Mexico policy and we're going to fire agents. If that isn't this goal of a borderless hemisphere and if, if that isn't deliberate, I don't know what is. So this is, again, what is so scary, what is so frightening about this administration. This is what they, th this is what they must want because there is no other conclusion any rational person can reach. That is what's frightening, I think, to me and certainly to the American people. Yeah, they're, they're trying to bring as many in as possible before Biden's out of office or before you, they lose control of Congress. Um, by the way, the DHS secretary, Congressman, did make an admission about migrants and COVID. He was speaking at Georgetown yesterday. We are confronted with a, a, a population of people that um, uh, as a general matter um, have a, a, a rate of illness of approximately 20%. <laughs> and we're it's, firing it's, nurses and border yeah. patrol. And police yeah, and, we're, and teachers. And we're, given the, and we're given illegals who break the law, we're giving them the choice whether they get the vaccine. This, this is, it makes, it makes absolutely no sense. It is, 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 but this is the same secretary who a week and a half ago told us the border is secure. I mean, that's the thing that bothers them. We're sick of being lied to by people. We're sick of the false information, the misleading information for, for the secretary to say the border is secure makes no sense because it's just not true. No, I said he was proud. He was proud, proud of how it was going at the border. Congressman, thank you for this information tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here.